I've oh. just gone through my first ever pipe. Oh no! <sighs> Crap. Ah oh, no, can you uh, turn off the mains? Okay, no, forget it. Just keep this on. Yeah, I'm just gonna call a plumber. Where's the boiler? Where's the boiler? Turn everything off. Think the tip strength. Maybe I'm a beaver. I'm just not having a good month this month. I just like knowing stuff's clean. We'll be out of here in no time. Hey guys, welcome back to Artisan Electrics where we've got some domestic work to do and you know how much I love domestic work. Lime plaster walls, lifting up carpets, lifting up floorboards. Ooh, I get excited thinking about it. Fortunately, it's an empty house, so it's tenanted and uh, they just want a few things moved around before they get their new tenants in. We've got a few things to fix and put right. Just a few quirks that come with having old houses, like you've got a light switch here that does that light over there. You've got to walk in through the front door all the way to here before you can actually turn the lights on. Put a new master socket in here. This one here that's been battered. Put a proper one with a VDSL filter on it. Upstairs. I'm gonna have to lift all of this because the light fitting will be here somewhere. And I'm not gonna bother, you know, moving the old switch line. I'm just gonna disconnect it, run a new cable from there along and down and then we'll have to come up for an ethernet port so we want a cat6 cable run from that phone line there up into the ceiling then we'll have to chase it we'll have to roll the carpet back lift it underneath um sorry run the cable underneath through the floorboards and then into this room here same story we just have to pull the carpet back keep it along and then he wants the cat6 installed just about there i reckon that the joysticks are running that way so, kind of the wrong way for fishing cables through. So it will have to all be lifted. I'll be honest, I, I hate these kind of jobs. They're my absolute least favorite of any that I can possibly do. Um, but it's good for Ruben to get a bit of experience doing this kind of thing. Um, like chasing out neatly, drilling behind skirting boards, lifting up carpets, all that kind of thing. It's all part of the essential skill set and tool pack of being an electrician. So, let's crack on. The joists are running the other way. So in that case then, I'll just get my multi-tool out, slice one floorboard along the joist, which I think is here. What I do is I cut it at an angle like that, rather than across. Then you've got a full stretch of beam to fall down on. So that should mean then we can just rod all the way through to that other room and we don't have to lift all the carpet, which is good. Although the joists aren't gonna line up, are they? Let's just lift one board there all the way, drill it through and then get inside this joist and then it's a straight line rather than having to lift that corner as well and drill it around the corner there. It makes more sense, doesn't it? So. All right, let's have a look. I shouldn't moan really, work is work. I'm lucky to have it. I'm grateful to have it. I can't get fussy, you know? But I would rather be blessed with like a nice big fat commercial job, if I'm being honest. But I'm blessed, so I'm not gonna complain. I reckon the light is gonna be about here somewhere, isn't it? So what we can do, I'm gonna have to drill every single joist. Let's look out the window. Oh, I screwed the window shut. Right, well that's the door frame right there. So the light's gonna need to go inside that board there, isn't it? Inside this joist here. I'm gonna set Ruben on with chasing out the boxes and sockets and stuff downstairs. Um, and then while he's doing that, I will drill a hole up. And then while he's doing that, I'm gonna get all these boards lifted and start getting roots through and back to that. Mexican guy wants to do a load of flooring for me. I had a second there, he just wouldn't start banging on about underlay. The job's looking up. Someone's already lifted these boards, so with their teeth, by the looks of it. But um, that makes it a bit easier. There's no chipboard and there's clear roots, so we'll be out of here in no time. If you'd like to chase in a box here, um, I'll get you a single box. Yep. We'll just keep it the same height as the other um, as the other switches, rather than I know it's good to do stuff the official 
regulated heights, but it will look hard if one's a lot lower than the others. So we'll just measure that off the floor. Yep. Do a line up and then I'm going to work on getting the cable out of here. So basically we're moving the switch because the switch for that at the minute is over here. Right. So it's a pretty dumb place to have a door switch. Yeah. So we're going to move it over by the door. So that's the standard. It's really hard because the walls are so crumbly. That's so why we'll just multi-tool them. Now you're gonna have to get a plaster anyway, so don't worry too much about it. But we'll we'll fix it. If we have time, maybe we'll just fill it for them as well. Um, and we'll big wipe all of our little rubber marks off just where the angle grinders scratch the wall a little bit. Really, could do with like putting a bit of masking tape or something on there just to protect it. But cool. Let's clean up. I think it's four. Holes of gal band is enough just to get round and wrap it. Right. Just to hold it in place. Cool. Just, just a hole and a screw. A plug and a screw in the centre with the black gal band screwed in. Yeah. And then get that screwed on straight as well. And then we can literally just pull the cable through, pop it down there and we're done. Cool. So I'll do the like plug screws, screw in the gal band. Yeah, just get that all And on. then just leave this off. Yeah, just so leave we that can off. Pass the cable if you get through that hole easier. first, right, yeah. start with that hole and stick the rod up. <clears throat> Just hold the hoover up to it as you do it, obviously. So we've just got, probably should have done that before we got clean, really. Yeah. Right. That'll do. I'm not going to do it here. <laughs> it's extremely um, over the top. But if I'm lifting up a floorboard, just cleaning it out. If I'm drilling holes and stuff, cleaning it so it's nice, clean surface. It's one of them. It probably is OCD, but I just like knowing stuff's clean. Like when I go to bed, knowing underneath my floorboards it's clean. <laughs> I do, but that's probably a problem. Right, mm, let's lift the other side and see how that's looking. Oh, fingertip strength. Where are we putting this? Oh yeah. We just slice across there, and I. <sighs> Crap. Ah, oh, no, can you uh, turn off the mains? You know where it's been? No, here, quick, mate, because this is absolutely peeing out. Um, can you turn all the taps on and bleed the radiators or something? Yeah. Uh, Don't we know how to do that? Oh, there's going to be a whole tank, isn't there? I think it's losing pressure. That is the first time in that is the first time in my life I've ever gone through a pipe. I seem to have hit this pipe. This is the first time I've actually hit a pipe at work before. I'm just grateful it wasn't a mains water pipe, but yeah, that's literally the only place I could have drilled. Ah, pain in the backside. And everyone says to me, even when I've come close before, in the comments, people have been like, oh, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Mate, this is the first time, and it had to be on, had to be on camera, didn't it? What an absolute, this is just not my month. I think I just need to go to Hawaii. No, this is still, there's still a lot of pressure in this. They're both cold. Right, but where's it going to? It's going to be ah. the it's it's going to be the heating. Yeah. Turn the radiators off. There's, oh, you're better off putting your thumbs on this, really, because I don't yeah. know if you know what you're doing with the heating. Yeah. Except. All right, you ready? Right thumb. In fact, just grab a cloth or something. See if there's a cloth or something like that that you can put pressure on. Because I've got bigger thumbs than you, and I've done a big slice. It's not great. It's yeah. Kind of Okay, you ready? It's going to come out quite a bit. Just move my hat. Yeah. Ready? I'll we'll just quickly swap and I'm going to run and turn all the valves off. Okay, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Where's the rate? Where's the boiler? You should check this before you lift up floorboards. You've turned off the stopcock. Yeah, it's under 
there. All right, where's the boiler? The mains water's run off, but this is the heating circuit, so it's different. All right, where's the boiler? Where's the boiler? Where's the boiler? Must be upstairs. Find the stuck cock for the tap for the um, tank as well. Close the filling loop. That's off. All the radiator's off. Yes, it is. Let's turn off that radiator, actually. How is it? Uh, yeah, I've got it fully stopped, but it's still pretty high pressure. Okay. <sighs> Aren't our viewers in for a treat? Smashing the van <laughs> and a pipe all within the same month. And I lost the beard. Mate, there we go, that's off. Mate, that's where you went wrong. You Should lost the beard. the beard. Honestly, I think that is it. I actually think that's where everything started going south. See if there's a, a tank. Wait, is it that way to loosen it off? No, that'll be opening the valve, won't it? It's that way. Oh, I know what I've got. Well, that's literally what this bucket was invented for. Okay, mate, just drain it off a little bit. Into here. Loosen it off a tiny bit, see how it goes. Yeah, go on, really take good. it out. Okay, no, forget it. Just keep this on. Keep that pressure on there. If I can get it to sort of follow the microfiber down there though, I'll go. Yeah, I'm just gonna call a plumber. Okay, if you can just keep the pressure on the wound, I'm gonna go drain it off downstairs. Just have to go bucket by bucket. I don't really like that the views that are inevitably gonna come from this channel are from me being an imbecile, reliably, regularly. I'd like Lee to have a turn being a moron for a bit. I think we should set him up. I'll go like that from above. I'll move the bucket to there. It doesn't really got anything coming out of it much. Hi mate. Hi mate, you right? Oh, yeah, one second, let me put you on my headphones. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now, yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. You all right? Content-wise, for Max, yeah. we're having the best day ever. Like, oh, like <laughs> probably the best video you're ever going to put out. Day-wise, okay. for me, um, okay. probably reaching new lows, to be honest. I've just oh. gone through my first ever pipe. Oh, no! Yeah. Oh. It's an empty oh, house. It's the best place it could have happened, right? It's an empty house. It's, you know, like no one's living here. It's, but I just multi-tooled up a floorboard and someone had literally put it there. There was no... Uh, straight underneath. Wow. It was just resting against the floorboard, like, and I've just gone oh, it. So, well, Ruben... I'm so glad that Max is there at least and it makes it all worth the pain. I've got the yeah. buckets under it and, like, I've turned the system off. I've tried draining it down best I can. Um, yeah. Not a whole lot's coming out now, really. I think there's just a little bit of an airlock between those two pipes, which is making it squirt out still. If it was in an okay. easy place, I could just put a push fit connection on it and repair it myself, but it's a really tricky place that it's come out. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I've got somebody who I can call to see if they can come in and fix it. So um, I'll give them a call now and see if they can get someone out to help. Thank you, um, mate. Sorry about okay, that. Maybe if uh, yeah, it happens, mate. It happens to all of us at some point. Although I don't think I've ever actually done it, but... Um, well, you know, the jury's no, out on that rewire. Worse. I, I, I mean, we did have that one with the rewire where it got screwed through, but that wasn't me anyway. But yeah, no, mate, don't worry. Um, it, it happens, and uh, we'll just get it fixed as long as you know, keeping the customer happy is the most important thing. So are they there at the moment? No, no one's here, fortunately, so I'll get it repaired, hopefully, before they're even back. 
Um, yeah, just try and avoid, like try and minimise water damage as much as possible because that yeah. could be the biggest issue. I mean, it's, if we have to fix a pipe, it's not the end of the world. But if we have to get redecorating and done and stuff, then that's when it really starts to rack up. Well, so, fortunately, um, it needs redecorating anyway. They said they're painting oh, okay. and replacing carpets and like all the yeah like the ceiling where it is coming through the ceiling a bit but it's only coming through the cracks so i think that will dry yeah. out so okay. it's the best so situation it could have happened yeah. but it is still obviously yeah. not good but okay yeah well um just change up the theme of the video now you know what video you're making today head in hands <laughs> with an exploding pipe oh well it's good for reuben as well to see what you know what can happen because um you know, it's not always a peach uh, being an electrician, let's face it. No, and it's the first time I've ever done it. And I've said that before on videos. Oh, I've not gone through a pipe yet. And people in the comments have gone, your day's coming. I'm like, no, it doesn't have to. I'm careful. Well, okay, mate. Well, thanks for letting me know. And um, yeah, I'll call the plumbers now and see if I can get someone in to sort it out today while you're there. But um, otherwise, we'll come up with a plan. Cool. Thanks, mate. Speak to you in a bit. Okay. Bye. Bye. He loves it, doesn't he? It's like, you hit for a pipe, yes, no, yeah, yes, like, oh, yeah, you hit for a pipe, brilliant. It's like, <laughs> quick, soak yourself down, go dance in the snow, roll around in the graveyard, get a thumbnail by the coffins. Right, plumber's been called, so I'm gonna leave that for now. The system's drained down, it's all empty. Um, a professional is on his way to come and fix that and laugh at me. I've still got the job to crack on with, so got this board lifted. As soon as he gets that rod up, so I can see roughly what joist it wants to be in. I will then take it along that way, fish a rod down um, to try and line it up with the boards we have up and then get that. Oh no, that one there is for the light switch actually. So what I'll do is there, I'll take the light fitting down the ceiling, rod across and see if I can do that rather than lifting the board up here. So I think I've, I've lifted enough boards today. And then for the data cable, that will probably be coming up just straight over here somewhere. And then I can just, Rod straight along. The trouble is, that's going to be so hard for him to fix because it's right against that. And this is all fixed into place. <laughs> it was like a nice clean run that it happened on. You could probably even fix it yourself. Um, but on that, yeah, I do not fancy trying to solder that. Right, so this uh, ceiling is kind of falling to pieces. This is the problem with lava and plaster ceilings. I was thinking, why is this so on the wonk? It was installed like that and it's just been plastered over. So I've just cut round it with my knife and the whole thing is coming to pieces. Do you know what's making me feel better, right? I put the story on my Instagram um, of hitting the pipe and I've had loads of people reply to me, which is weird, really, when you think about it. I've only got 8,000 followers or something like that. Out of that small focus, I've had three different people saying I've hit a pipe today as well. So maybe it's just one of them days. I'm picturing the, the gif with Kermit the Frog sitting there with like water spraying all over him. Yeah, mental health spark has just said, oh no, he didn't do it today. So he just had, he did it recently with bowed floorboards and eight mil micro bore. Ouch, that's not good. Um, the best way I find to get yourself out of a truck ball is to um, take a little bit of responsibility for it and then look at everyone else's problems to make yours look less bad. You're making me feel much, much better. You're lovely. Should we go in requests? It's usually a dark place. You hit a lamppost and now this. Cheers, mate. Um, not your fault. Pipes are too high. Mm, I would generally say it was my fault because although the pipes are too high, um, I don't think they had holes in them before I came along, so. All right, I need to take this down. Let's see if there's, uh, have you got my screwdriver in your pocket, Max? No. Let's make one of see how he likes it. That'll be mine. If there's a feed here, then I'll just link it out so that it's permanent, put a blank plate there, and then um, make that a switch live there and run, a, run it down to the switch. Nope, it's not. So there's a junction box. So we've got two wires here and two wires there. So either the laws of physics and circuitry have broken or there's a junction box somewhere underneath that floor, which is right pain because now I have to lift more floorboards. Yeah. I can about here somewhere. See if we can find one that's already been lifted. Someone's either wet the bed or they've had a bad day as well. 
Oh, there's a lifted board there. I reckon that'll be where the junction box is. I reckon. There's where pipes are. In hindsight, I should have measured off the wall, really. Probably would have made more sense. About 500 quid's worth of copper there. Sitting under the floor. I think now that I'm like just past three quarters of the way through, I'll probably just snap that board. I don't really fancy going all the way through a board ever again. Um, something I could do actually, if I was really clever, which I've evidently proven these last couple of weeks that I'm not. Let's set the depth on it. There we go. Don't go deeper than that. Do you mind if we just leave you here and go home? Max said. Yeah. I knew that would be his response. He's such a good guy. Let's just go then. But the raw plug's not in the right place just to screw a hole in the back box. Uh, oh, no, they are. Um, what are you having a hard time with then? No, it's, it's just stuff at home. Go. You can tell me if you want to turn the camera off. Yeah, I'm a therapist now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it just wasn't going deep enough. Are you having a giraffe? I found the light fitting, but. I think I know how they've done it. I was just thinking, where's the junction box? I was expecting to lift this and see a junction box straight away right there, but there's not. And I think it's coming off of probably that light fitting there. So I reckon they've probably gone from the switch to that light fitting. I reckon that was an added switch. And originally they came on together or the option is to come there together. Probably if I take down that pendant over there, you'll probably have the loop out to this as well as the switch line to that and the switch line to that. In which case, that's okay. I'll just put it in the permanent terminal over there so that this then becomes permanent. Disconnect the switch line and run a new switch line down. That'll solve that. And have a good old hoover up here. Right, Mr. Plumber Man has come in and fixed this for us and he's done a really good job actually. Um, I think they're pure heating from Cambridge. They came out really, really quick and have sorted that for us. So that's amazing. Um, and he's refilled all the system and all the rest of it. Panic is over now. <laughs> I just watched back the footage of me panicking and I'm like, turn everything off. It's a closed system. So I didn't even need to turn off the main stop cock. You know, you're just panicking. I'm like, it's a pipe, there's water. Turn off everything, stop the canals. Maybe I'm a beaver in a past life. Um, right. So, I can't find that junction box. It shoots off that way and it's not in the light fitting down there. So, somewhere between here and there, I think it's right underneath that wall there, just on the other side of it, because I can go into that, I can see it going into that wall there. Either I can carry on lifting up floorboards to try and find it, or I just connect it at the switch so that it's permanent, put a blanking plate on, and run over, there's so many other junction boxes and things under here anyways, it's not like that one's going to make any difference. Um, at least with a light and stuff, if there ever was a loose connection, you've got a visual cue of flickering lights and things. Um, I'm gonna carry on trying to find it. I think I'm gonna lift one more board over there, see if I can find it. If not, I'll way go out the switch and run a new switch line across and just put a little note on the certificate saying that there's a junction box somewhere on the system that I couldn't find. Oh, there it is. Nice. Nice one mate, cheers, that'll do. Pull that slack back. I feel like the fact it's been lifted, that's likely gonna be it, isn't it? That's gotta be the uh, the sus board with the junction box underneath. So there's old VIR cable here, but I'm pretty sure it's all dead and not being used. Where's that lighting one? The lighting one must be over there. 95 to the center of that joist. That's this joist here. I'll drill through the brickwork. I'll run a rod that way through our hole. Then we can just come here and take the cable along, up, right in where he wants the uh, data point. And that'll be job done.
I've got to beat his record of not hitting a pipe. So, you know, starting off strong. Someone had to put a big fat tripod in that room. It would have been more stress as well. Bingo. Perfect. Oh, he's only let me put it through the wrong joist. <laughs> Corey asked me to drill down uh, beside this joist on this side um, to parts the Cat 6 up. But Mr. Cameraman said to drill through this one. It's the wrong joist, mate. <laughs> Corey, <laughs> Those are some nice pipes, D'Amico. You gotta tell me if we're there. <laughs> okay. Oh, right then, let's no, pull it through. No, I haven't. The cameraman's lying. I was about to yank it out, so you're lucky. Is it through? Yep. Wow, that was quick. 52 to the top. 53. I might as well flaunt my music page on this episode as well, seeing as my electrical career is dying. You got him? Yeah, if you push that a little bit. There we go. Oi, good job, mate. I've never actually done one of these before, so I just called my friend Oliver at Chile Electrical because he does networking. And uh, it was actually really incredibly simple, but it's one of those, until, until someone kind of talks you through it, I couldn't find a YouTube video on it as well, so I wish I filmed him talking me through it. But what I'll do is the next one I have to do, I'll film a little how-to video. I haven't got any more of these left now. Um, but yeah, incredibly simple to actually do, and I'm going to do a video on how how to do them. I think, oh, that's brilliant. I thought it was like I bought my punch down tool and everything. I didn't, didn't need any of that. You could probably watch the sequence of me doing it, but that was him talking me through it, and then me doing one a little bit cautiously. Um, and then you have the little drain wire there, which is just cable tied onto the back. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna. He's just gonna go get my little network tester. When I say network tester, it's a very, very basic tester. It's literally an RJ45 lead on each end and it's just going to cycle through to make sure they're all connected and all continuous in the right order. It's not going to test if you're getting gigabit speed or anything like that. To be honest, I'm not a fan of doing networking just because I don't like doing anything unless I know I'm doing it perfectly if it's a professional service. And I don't know enough about networking really to do it perfectly. Um, like I can connect it, but I don't know enough about it to test it. I'm trying to learn, like doing more bits with different companies um, that do networking to try and pick it up a little bit um, and hopefully can bring that back to Artisan. But at the minute, not super experienced on it. Thank you very much, Oliver, for uh, the help with that one. So we've done, I've done a very rough fill for him on all the sockets. Um, Move the switch to there. They'll have to get a plaster in. We, we didn't even say we was going to fill it, but just have because, well, I had filler, so I might as well. It is gone six. I'm absolutely exhausted. That route, it was just a right faff because we had to take up both sides of the brick wall. Cameraman ended up helping us running cables. Um, but we got there in the end. All the cables are in, everything's done. So now it is just a case of getting tidy, getting clean, and going home. I've still got to drop Paul Ruben off at the station, so thank you very much for watching. It's a nightmare, one of those days. I'm just not having a good month this month. I need to just, I don't know, hibernate for the rest of winter, I think, and come back out in summer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.